This video is about hard, I'm telling you, real hard pruning of viburnums. You can hack them back with a chainsaw. And in this video, I'm going to show you what happened in 2010, in January, when my son cut down a huge viburnum to about two to three feet in height with a chainsaw. I'll show you what it looked like right after, and then in 2017, seven years later. Hello, my name is Mike Hurst. I'm at Highland Hill Farm. And today we're at our house, and right behind us we're going to show you how to trim or cut back a viburnum. This is the viburnum that we're going to go after. This is called a double file viburnum. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hack it back with a chainsaw. And we're going to hack it back about this level right here. And uh, what happens is after this level, they'll all start shooting back. As you can see, that they've all been sheared before real hard once before. But they haven't been sheared in like the last three or four years, so they've kind of been overgrown. And we're going to just hack them all here, drag them off, and put them in the wood chipper. Next year when they come out, they should flush out where the spots where we cut them, and they should be good to go. So okay. Gonna... Here's this viburnum hedge cut down pretty well, right down to the end. And it opens up these cryptomeria. As you can see, we just have a few more to do. Alright, this is our final product. We did two burning bushes on the end. The burning bushes, you notice, is really close, low to the ground because we don't want that growing up any taller. Because as it gets bigger, it's going to make this holly not perform as well. And we really like the holly. This here is another double file. We whacked this one a little bit hard. Uh, so that the cryptomeria has more light to uh, grow in. This here, this is a snowball viburnum, and that's a dentium viburnum. And those are a little bit slower growing than the double files, so we let those guys just be a little bit higher. And back again to the double file. We uh, trim them pretty hard. And with all these branches being taken out, the hydrangea, that's actually a uh, full sun hydrangea, will be able to grow better and be better shaped. The Japanese maple will be better shaped as well. And what we're probably going to do is just dragon eye pine. We're talking to my brother. We're going to dig that up, move it someplace so it has, it's not so close to the Japanese maple. Okay, thank you very much. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.